your Storm Team 2 forecast first, sponsored by Window World. Much of the low country saw some nice summertime soaking rain earlier this afternoon and evening with scattered storms that did bring in some heavier downpours, especially with this round, which came in a few hours ago, leaving for this uh, view of a shelf cloud from our News 2 rooftop. And a lot of you captured the same image as it moved into Johns and James Island. We did see some damage in the low country with a brief severe thunderstorm warning that has expired for several hours now. And that rain clearing out as well. We'll take a look at how your Wednesday is shaping up because it's going to be similar in our full forecast coming up soon as we start your News 2 at 11. Now, count on two, live and local in the low country. This is News 2 at 11. The John C. Calhoun statue will be removed from Marion Square in downtown Charleston after a decision from City Council, a live report from downtown Charleston. And the coronavirus continuing to spike across the country as the governor presents a new statewide plan for keeping our restaurants and lodging safe and clean. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brendan Clark. Tonight, City Council voted unanimously in favor of a resolution put forth by Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg, which calls for the removal of the John C. Calhoun statue down in Marion Square. Have it moved to another location. That statue has been in its current location for over 120 years now. This is Hannah Powers is there has more on the removal process. Hannah. Brendan, while the vote was unanimous, the process was certainly not a quick one. Tonight, city council meeting lasted for several hours. They wanted to make sure that Charleston residents had an opportunity to voice their concerns and hear from all the council members as well. A moment that some people in Charleston say they've been waiting decades.